So you're dealing with somebody who's mad at you and you don't know why. Why the fuck are they mad? Divine feminine? Somebody's main man is mad. They think you're being unofficial in your relationship. Some of you got somebody mad at you because you won't give them no money. So because you ain't giving them no money, they want to cheat. You ended the marriage. Some of you, they mad because you ended the marriage with them. Yep, he's mad. Mad because you ended or you could have turned down a proposal. Um, he could have proposed to you marriage, could have proposed for you to move in with him. Um, whatever it was, he he didn't like your answer. Yeah, he, somebody asked you to move in with them. They proposed for you to move in with them. And now they're mad. Time just flew out. This person wants all your time and wants you to live with them. But for some of you, this person didn't, they didn't hold you in high honor. They didn't treat you like the main female. They brought storms in your life. You could have a child with this person. This person could have had you under spiritual attack and used this sneaky fox. So this is why you ended a marriage. And now this person wants to spend time with you. Hold on, I need to get me some tissue in my notes. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Okay, but this person has deceptive behavior and energy. And this sneaky fox is looking back at what he got away with. Now, this sneaky fox is trying to get away with not having to pay child support. This sneaky fox is trying to get away with not having you in the marriage with him. This sneaky fox is also trying to figure out a way to keep you from divorcing his ass or leaving him alone, but still keeping you as an option. He's, he's also trying to be sneaky and send spiritual attacks, delays, um, cause you tears, putting you in competition with other females, mm -hmm. causing setbacks in your life. Okay, tell me some more, Spirit. So divine family, please keep in mind this reading may or may not resonate with your energy. Only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let it go. All right. And some of you, this is somebody you married to. And for the, those of you that's married, this person um, wants to spend time with you. Here's the energy of some secrets coming out. Here's a gift being returned or um, not accepted or someone's gift, spiritual gifts can be taken away. Or this person you realize that they're not a gift to you. And you hear divorce papers. You could have had divorce, you know, trying to divorce this person. And they don't want it to end, so they could be setting up some sort of delay so you can't get no paperwork. This person is also looking back at what he's, you know, stealing. And he ain't apologizing. And he's angry. So yeah, this is your your ex who's angry. Because he want to keep you trapped or confined. Feeling like a captured little bird. But you got a key to it, to a solution too. Something you got the key to. When some secrets came out of something, it gave you the key to something. Maybe you got some sort of clarity. Maybe you see that this ex of yours is trying to put delays in your life. Yeah, holding court papers and shit. 
And if this is not your energy, this could be your, your person's ex's energy. This could be your person's energy towards the ex. This person, some of you, this person, somebody didn't apologize to you for not taking care of their child, not paying child support, not spending time with that child, not being loyal to that child. And they didn't apologize or they could be apologizing and, and you're not accepting it. You're not allowing them to see this child no more because this person was trying to be sneaky. So since they didn't apologize to you, you gave them your they ring back. Now that's not for everybody, that's for somebody. Some of you didn't marry this person because they were a thief. Some of you didn't marry this person because they sneaky. Some of you if you it if if you're not um engaged to them, some of you left this person or signed some divorce papers. And they mad, but they can't say nothing because they know they had another relationship outside of you. And now they want to spend time with you. But see, there's one, they want to spend time with you to cause some delays to keep you from divorcing their ass. And you know, they know that you feel that either you know instinctively that you're not the main female. Here's the dark, the dark spirit. This person could worship the devil, be into Satanism, evil eye, throwing witchcraft and shit at you. This could be why some of you didn't marry him, too. I think I'm so sleepy sitting here. That's a dang shame. I'm so sleepy. Who's out there sleepy like that? Somebody is sleepy. Something you're supposed to be ending and you don't want to end. Somebody's body is so tired, but they just can't stop. Whatever it is that you're doing, you, you just can't stop. I can't, I can't stop. I can't. I got to keep doing this. That's somebody's energy out there. Or this could be your karmic energy. They, they may not be able to stop doing something they're doing. They didn't, they didn't apologize to you for uh, concerning this child, for not paying no child support, for not spending time with this child or doing anything with this child. <clears throat> this ex of yours is mad and he's trying to figure out a way that he can um, keep you trapped, doing some dark shit. But at the same time, he want to be sneaky and want to spend time with you. Again, death in reverse. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. They don't want it to end. Coughing out here twice in reverse. They don't want it to end if they've been stealing from you. They want to continue to try to steal from you. They want to continue to keep you from moving forward. So they, it's, it's like they want to spend time with you to keep you from ending. They want you to stay in a relationship because you got growth and stability, the tree of life. They kicked my cat's butt. Look, he chewed through my card. I don't know when he did, when he did this. Okay, give me one more Holy Spirit. 
Where is this? Well, we know this person was unofficial. Now, this is not for everybody, okay? It's, it's for somebody, but it's not for everybody. Some secrets came out. What was the secrets? He's a mature man. Not going to receive no blessings from the universe. Because he's doing dark shit. And this is somebody who you can't tell them nothing. They know, they, they know more about everything. They done been there, done that. Uh, you say, we gonna, well, let's go to someone. So I done already been there. I done already. I don't want to go there. Um, it's like they just irritate you. But this person is doing that because they're being unofficial. They're entertaining others. And they looking back and how they got away with keeping you from being their main female. But their secrets came out, you know now. So what is the advice? What's the advice of experience? about to receive some good news and this also means to show self love love yourself love on yourself love, love yourself okay um this could also mean that you're you're about to receive some sort of news letter in the mail mm -hmm. some good news at that Okay, so that was the advice for you to love yourself, self-love, and you have a choice that's gonna, you're gonna have to make a choice or a decision. Somebody is trying to put you in a mental imprisonment, stop your money flow, the sex, and they don't wanna, somebody don't wanna sign no divorce papers. Um, somebody don't want you to be privileged. It's like they want you to be anchored down and have to deal, have to deal with them or steal your energy. This person wanted you in despair, but they're the one in despair, or they have a child that has them in despair. Or there's a child that has a great fortune that has a parent in despair. This child's mother can be running shit. She, this child's mother is older than this masculine energy. And he's a narcissist. Okay. And this narcissist is not going to want you to shine or stand out mm -mm, or be creative because they want you to spend all your time, effort, and energy on them. And they won't hold you in high honor. And some of you divine feminists, you know this. That's why you ain't saying nothing. Mm -hmm. You moving ahead. Not allowing this person to create no blockages in your life because they trying to stop you. Some of you, this is your divine masculine. He's not saying anything. He's either broken hearted or you're broken hearted by him. Someone has reached a judgment. Maybe you've reached a judgment or this person is getting karma. They show no concern for you. When some of you, when you was in the hospital, this person didn't come visit you, but they telling you all the time how much they love you, but you was in the hospital, they didn't come see you. And this was your main man. Could have been saying he was out of town and shit. You could have been messaging him and asking him to come to the hospital to visit you. But he was doing his own thing. But now you got sudden wealth and new beginnings and this person is unenlightened. And if they was enlightened, they would be trying to be a snake and try to start calling you. And maybe you know this and you have done blocked already. You moved and you didn't tell them where you live. Okay? Some of you move with family. And your family gonna try to use you. Mm-hmm. Here's some spying energy and some, some deception that's going to be exposed when it comes to a house. Someone may be moving. Maybe someone um, losing the house, getting evicted, relocating, and you didn't want to. And somebody's thinking about you. They took a gamble or risk. And this person, somebody treated you real cold, okay? Here's chaos and conflict, a third party situation, but you working on yourself since that third party situation to keep yourself from going into poverty. You cut this person off and it's divorce or 
custody battle or criminal case because they wouldn't put no toilet and labor in the relationship. And they was trying to do spell work on you and it's in reverse. They was trying to affect your money, but it's not going effective. You found out this person is um, wearing a false mask and that they were still dealing with their eggs. They're not giving to her no more or they're, they stopped giving to you. Okay, or they may not have no more money to spy on you. They could have been going to their ex, having their ex tell them things, and the ex don't even know you. Like, how the fuck you gonna tell him some shit about me? You don't even know. So that's what you're dealing with. Some of you. If this reading resonated with you, then please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. All right, peace.